I picked up a Prusa Mark IV back in February, and this is the quietest it's been in the past six months. Uh, but shortly after getting it, and after getting the enclosure for it, my Z-axis, excuse me, my Y-axis uh, started giving me uh, trouble. It wasn't, uh, it loosened up, it wasn't uh, uh, working right, I was getting chatter. I tried to tighten up the belt, and with the enclosure, it becomes a hassle. Even with the flip top lid I have on this thing, I trying to turn the machine on its side to tighten the belt was not an easy project. Very awkward. And then on printables.com, I came across an upgrade, if you want to call it, uh, that really worked well. And what we do is re replace the front mount here with this dial and mounting block that replaced the original mounting block uh, uses the same screws and now all I have to do is dial in the proper tension on the belt. Doesn't get much easier than that. Made a big difference for the y-axis. And then to test it, uh, if you've tried using the app that Prusa has, uh, I had difficulties with it. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't, and not sure when it worked, if it was accurate. Uh, so another spot on print principles had this belt, belt tension checker. And you just put it on the belt and you have minimum and maximum levels on it. And it doesn't get much easier than these two devices. Uh, to keep this thing tuned up. The belts can also be used on the x-axis, excuse me, the tension checker can be used on the x-axis. The belt tensioner can also be used on the x-axis belt, uh, and that one is quite a bit easier to adjust if necessary uh, than the y-axis belt. So there you have it. I will put the links for the printables.com files on the comments below and you know I love the damn thing frankly since I put it on and adjusted it I have not had to readjust it which is nice and it's been working really well